Hey everyone and welcome to All About The Popcorn. I'm Stephanie. Thank you all for clicking on this video. Now if you're someone who enjoys talking about film, then how about clicking that subscribe button. So Space Jam, A New Legacy. Let's talk about it. a fan of Space Jam the one with Michael Jordan I love it it has a little nice nostalgia feeling to it is it great is it wonderful no but yes you know obviously it's not the best thing of course LeBron we have seen him in other things I enjoyed him for the most part <laughs> He played himself as well in um, Amy Schumer's movie a few years ago, Trainwreck. I was excited to a point for a new legacy just because I did have that nostalgia feeling. I did have that love for Space Jam of the first one. Plus, I do love the Looney Tunes. Personally, Marvin the Martian, as you can tell. I don't know. Where, right there. Boom. I don't know. Where, I can't, yeah, I know I'm blind. I love me some Marvin the Martian. He's actually my second favorite. I favorite would be uh, Sylvester, but I couldn't find a pop with Sylvester alone. He comes with that damn Tweety Bird, and I don't like Tweety Bird. Is this a sequel that we actually needed? Obviously not. You know, when I saw the first one, I never thought, oh, I wish we had a continuation to this story. So I did go in with this one a little bit more with an open mind, just because I wasn't expecting, like, wondrous things with it, because... I knew where it was coming from and I knew LeBron was going to be, you know, part of the movie. He's obviously the main character here and I've seen him in Trainwreck so I knew his acting, you know, bug wasn't all there but I was just like, we're going to see. We're going to see what happens. We're, you know, we're going to enjoy it for what it is. We're going to have fun with it. Obviously, these type of movies are not made for us adults. They are for children. So we kind of have to keep that in mind. Obviously, the adult draw would be LeBron if you are, of course, a basketball fanatic. I am not a sports person, so I really don't care. I just know of him. So I, I don't even know a freaking team. I'm just trying to give you a feel of how I went into the movie, what my non-expectation expectations of the movie were before I guess I go into my thoughts <laughs> of the movie. But obviously we really can't get to certain levels without the acting portion. I mean, only the Looney Tunes can only take us so far. The Looney Tunes are awesome. I love them. You know, they're great. But you know, once we have like LeBron, who is the main character, and his acting abilities are not like Don Cheeto, he can only take us so far as this villain who I wasn't truly fully here for. Also, the way that LeBron ended up in Toon World and the way that we had to bring the tunes together, I just really wasn't here for it because, of course, in Michael Jordan's version, the tunes went searching for Michael. They needed the best basketball player and it just made more sense for them to save Toontown, right? For them not to be slaves. You know, in this case, he gets sent to Toon World. We're not really gonna get too, too much, but there is basically a search between him and the uh, Bugs to get his team together. And really, in this case, what they did with the movie is really just a marketing deal, a way to, I guess, get more people to subscribe to HBO Max to, to get it, because they really try to show you all their <laughs> everything that they have like their collection then also i wasn't really here for the fact that they animated lebron it that didn't happen of course with michael at the point like they had better sense <laughs> and I, I he was animated for a short period of time but i just i don't really feel like it brought anything really to the movie to the story him being animated i didn't hate it by any means necessary again like i said i wasn't expecting much from it but i was expecting more than what i got like a better story and i i don't i don't know i just i wasn't really here for it uh but again we're not the targeted audience for it to have been like a kid movie they sure do add like pennywise they have the nun in there they have uh the white walkers from game of thrones i'm like that's not a very kid friendly deal they have they reference the game of thrones a lot so i'm assuming well obviously it's like a great show but for it to happen like in this movie i'm like this is 
that show, I love it, but it's not very kid friendly. So before I do give you my score, which I'm sure you're probably already going to know, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. Were you a fan of the original Space Jam? If you've seen part two, like which one do you prefer, part one or part two, let me know down below. Um, so with all that, I am going to give Space Jam a new legacy, a small popcorn. You know what? I'm about to get into my combos. If you're new, just know that these combo stuff is very, very new because I'm not 100%. I'll go ahead and give it a soda. It wasn't terrible, you guys. It really wasn't. It's just, it, we didn't need it. <laughs> it's just something we didn't need, but it was good fun. Let me know down below who is your favorite Looney Tune character? Who's your favorite Warner Brothers uh, character. <laughs> if you don't want to just do Looney Tunes, you can just give me a whole a overall Warner Brother take. The whole thing of them ha also having the Warner Brother characters in the background before I do close this off. Uh, I just, they weren't the greatest <laughs> because like the characters, you knew who they were, but obviously the way that they look, they didn't look like the actual characters themselves. It honestly looked like characters that you would see at Six Flags really or a really good costume party i guess so that is it for me today let me know your thoughts down below and until next time i'll see you guys at concession Bye.